folks, you can't miss our range. He's doing solar outfit here in the Grenadines. Um, he's replacing all the bolts and all the logs for the outfit. It's a metal roof, you can't go too tight. Alright. So you got already got this here. Okay, remove the old ones and replace it with the new ones. Want to make sure it's nice and strong for windy season. So this here is a hybrid inverter. When I say hybrid, I mean wind, I mean generator, I mean all kinds of stuff. Alright, so we got generator, line, and neutral. Then we got the load, that's what goes to the house. When the appliances you got, and then we have the grid. This is going to be ground light. And over here, we have a charge controller for the solar panel wires coming in from right here. You're going to have so you don't strings. Bring, you don't bring extra, ex, ex, excess um, ground back into the battery. Right. Right. Controlling that. Exactly, right. And then we have two breakers here, 200, 200 amp each. That's for the batteries. We're not going to have batteries in the future. So this batteries, this is controlled by DC only. You can hook it up right here. As you see, a battery positive and negative. And then we have all these wires coming in, and I'm going to hook them up, you're going to see exactly what it is. And this here is the neutral, I think it's the neutral or the ground bus bar. It's I got to check it out. Okay, the ground simmer, that's where the ground goes in. Right, then we got to put some logs there. So basically, and this is where the battery communication port is going to get connected, because the battery has the one cam port, or the four RS-485. So you get connected here, and the battery is going to ring. What the water is saying to it. So, this is just a typical idea, guys. That's how it works. Yeah, so all these reels are grounded with copper wires. Um, number six, here's a junction box. Garage. So, 300 watt panels. Um, the VOC is 39.9, I think, and we will hook up all of this in series, going on to a combiner box. Uh, this is going to be like one string of 12, another string of 12, and so forth. Alright folks, so we got all the wires in from the, the roof come down to the combiner box. Um, we got there, like I said before, we got three strings at 12. Um, when a good day, we got uh, 460 volts um, with 12 panels in series at 300 watt. And the voltage is um, 39.7. So um, we are just going to make our splices and connections into the charge controllers. Um, and into the combiner box also. So folks, look at the performance of these three strings of 12 in series. PV1, 28 volts. PV2, 427 volts. Actually, it goes up to 428 volts. 
So everything is go everything is even out, fluctuating a little bit, but PV1 429 volts, PV2 425 volts, PV3 427 volts. And right now the inverter is slipping, folks. It's not that of a much of a it's a very cloudy day here in, in, in the Grandins and this is working as a charm. So in another couple of days I'm gonna put some loads on it and see how much I can take it up to. Peace. Oh folks, it went up to 6,000, 6,000 kilowatts. We got the iron running, we got the house running. Let me wrap up. Um, well, speechless. Um, what I have to say here is that I am very impressed. Um, getting the opportunity, one, to learn um, how to do solar systems has been a wonderful thing with me. I mean, Brian, you're a wonderful teacher. Um, and I think anybody loving you would pick it up very easy. You didn't make it too hard for me to learn. Something I've been interested in, um, Caracol is a place where we don't have much of these um, systems. Um, as complex as it is, um, it was easy for me when we're doing it with you and the working system actually putting up this well setting it up was interesting but seeing the setup work was the best part of it um, i couldn't believe this thing could work so i mean it's off grid um off grid i would definitely myself no batteries no green leg no green leg no well you don't and have to let it green leg and, 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 it's, <laughs> but, um, and it's working as designed it's working as design and um even for me impressive because this mod, mod as you say is very big and it could support a lot of um equipments even an extra house or so and when we saw how what we put on all the equipments in the house on this bad boy here and seeing how it barely picked and how he was working as designed man that was that was really impressive for me and like yo i need to get one myself um and i want to i definitely want to i mean having such beautiful place sunshine and all this energy and you could do this i would want something like this so i mean kudos man this is this is a hell of a project thank you very much and um i would like to do that again i would definitely want to do my own <laughs>